64 squares, 32 pieces, for challenges and only one winner. Presenting the Murder Games. Where am I? Hello chess pieces, today is the most important day of your lives. I'm finally getting laid. And for most of you, the last. The winner of this challenge wins $3.1 million. Damn, I can't imagine the look on my face if I lose. I can, your face, and every part of your body will be eaten by my zombie army. Say hello to your dinner, zombies. Oh my god, those are zombies. I thought the apocalypse was over. I don't want to die. Will you let these zombies out into the world? What use will $3.1 million be if the world goes to shit? That depends on the viewers of the games. Viewers. Indeed, people are watching this on YouTube right now. With that, let's begin the first game. Red light, green light. Oh, I know that. We have to run from one point to another and stop when a scary doll looks at us. Ha ha ha. You see, I've added my own twist to the game. The winner of this challenge is the first piece to reach the first rank of the opponent in a chess game. Oh, damn. That will take a lot of time. Great, because the number of moves it takes is the number of pieces that die. What? Who chooses the dying pieces? The piece that wins the challenge. Start the game. Damn, if our piece reaches the 8th rank, then our entire army can stay alive. But which piece can reach there the quickest? Is that even a question? It's you, my queen. No, that's a trap. Our opponent will expect that we will try to use our most powerful piece. But all we need is a long range piece which can go from our camp to theirs in one move. So horsies, you're out. As if my lazy ass could do anything anyways. Nor the rooks, it takes too long for them to come out. Of the closet. What? Nothing, maybe a problem for another time. Pawns are useless. Hey, I mean, it's true, but hey. It has to be the bishop. We are going to aim to open the A1H8 diagonal. Pawn, go to H4. Haha, -ha, who's useless now? Wait, you've got to be kidding me. Is our opponent an amateur? LOL. I thought he'll try to bring his queen. Who plays his corner pawn? Let's go, E5. H5. LOL, one IQ test for my opponent please. Pawn D5. I've always had a huge dick, now I have a huge center too. Yes of course, huge. Pawn B3. My king, we're going to win easily. All we need to do is win in less than 16 moves, and our entire army survives. Correct, Bishop D6. Bishop B2. C5. White, you should give up the game. The earlier you resign, the lesser the number of your pieces that die. Guys, we need to act stupid for this to work. Black King, I don't know how to play chess well, but I still have to try. Pawn to H6. My King, let me take care of this. I'll grab this stupid pawn. Oh shit, if the horsey takes, my plan doesn't work. Oh my god. Black King, a horsey can move 2.5 squares. Why didn't you tell me white horsey? Ha, huh, sorry King. Even I didn't know I had this unique superpower. I almost started walking in a straight line. But I still don't know how does a pawn capture. Could you teach me Black? Are you fool? G pawn, show him how it's done. Yes, my king. Yes, the diagonal is open. One last bet. Black king, I heard somewhere that pawns can move two squares from their initial post. Is that true? Like this? Hmm, you didn't know that? Crap, I had played pawn to h4 on move one. I completely forgot that. Does he realize it? White king, I find this hard to believe. Crap, we're busted. That you're this level of stupid. Ha ha ha. Pawn capture him. What an idiot. Oh my god, it worked. What? What? They tricked us. You asshole. You fooled me. The white bishop has reached the last rank. Yes, our plan worked. Not gonna lie, I feel like Superman right now. As seven moves have passed, the white bishop has to now remove seven pieces from the board who will be fed to the zombies. Yes, bishop, choose the most powerful black pieces. That will help us win any future challenges as well. Ha, uh, I have the power. I vote for. Oh no, we are screwed. Please don't feed me to the zombies. Wait, let's make this interesting. What White Bishop, I'm going to give you a chance to be immune for the next round. I'm listening. All you have to do is vote for at least three white pieces. What? No way. You want me to kill some of my family? To save yourself. Hmm, interesting. Don't do it, Bishop. We grew up together. We are your family. Let's do it. Crap. Start the vote. I vote to remove the black dark squared Bishop so that I cannot be captured easily. You asshole. Next, the black pawns on the king side, F7, F4, and H6. This way their king will always be weak. You idiot. You should have voted for the black queen. Now to vote for the white pieces. I mean, amazing decision. Love you. I want the white rook gone. I want his corner square. You traitor. Ha. Uh, 
get out. Also remove the horsey and the A2 pawn. I need my space. No way this is real. I'm sorry I couldn't save you my family. All the eliminated pieces walk up to the bridge in 15 seconds or I will shoot you in the head. I curse you white bishop. You will die next round. I'm immune, bitch. It's time for game to my pets. It's called Battleship. Both the white and black armies will have one separate chess board and cannot see the other. They have to arrange four ships each on any random sequence of squares. One by one each side will launch missiles on the other side's chess board. The side to lose two ships first loses the challenge. We can choose any squares? Yes. Done. Let's go. White, you go first. Choose one square in your opponent's camp. I launch a missile on the sea five square damn that was too close for comfort we attack the d2 square it's a hit oh crap you get to choose another square once you get a hit oh my god that's amazing as their boat will be connected there will be another piece on one of these surrounding squares which one should we choose my king it has to be d1 pawns never get to be on the first rank just like me they might have been curious and chosen it damn you're right we hit the d1 square it's a miss. Crap. For your second turn, you both get to hit two adjacent squares. We need to strike right now. I choose the B7 and C7 squares. It's a strike on C7. Yes, that's what I am talking about. As your hit was accurate, choose two more squares. D7 and E7. It's a strike. Boat 1 has sunk for the black team. Oh no. Yay. Only one more to go. Change of turns after a boat sinks. Black, choose two squares. My king, D something. I choose the C2 and E2 squares. It's a strike on E2. Oh no. Haha, uh -huh. we got them. I choose the F2 and G2 squares. Strike on both. The H2 and H3 squares. Strike on H2, the boat is down. Woohoo, we are back baby. Both sides will now choose six squares. Six. Oh my god. We could win the game in this chance. Think my king, where would the black pieces hide? If someone is playing the game for the first time, they would try to run away from the center. You're right, they would hide in the corner. We already covered this one. I choose these six corner squares. It's a strike. Boat two is down. Oh my god, it worked. We won. Oh no, what happens now? White has won challenge two, and hence the white army will have an advantage in the final round. Hell yeah. But for now, all the pieces on the sunken ships walk up to the bridge. What? Even though we won? Yes, your time is now over. <laughs> Challenge 3. All the remaining pieces will battle for survival in a giveaway chess game. The task of each piece is to get himself captured within one minute, including the kings. All captures are hence forced. Armies ready? Yes. Yes. The timer starts now. I'm coming to H6. Crap, I have to capture him. Now what? Shall I go to H3? Wait, if you go to H3, you will get captured, but then the horsey will have to take back. Black will get the momentum. Do you have a better plan, my king? Yes. Queen, go to a 4 Check. Should I block the check? No blocking, idiot. There is no pawn on A7. Your rook is forced to capture. Oh crap. Rook takes. This is not looking good at all. Now shall I go to a3? No, not yet. Pawn, go to e4. Oh no, another pawn. Wait my king, I just realized we are not forced to take on e4. We're not? We can also take on d2. Oh my god, I completely missed that. Bishop take. Rook take. Hey bishop, I'm all ready and naked for you. Come grab me. One more. Grab the horsey now. Damn. 15 seconds to go. Now, grab me king. Oh my god, all white pieces are gone. I'm going to die. 5 seconds. Wait, there was no rule that only opponent pieces have to capture you. Bishop, grab me. Time over. Oh my god, I can't believe I made it. The final 11 pieces will battle for 3.1 million dollars. Only one of you will survive this round. Damn. Let me reveal the massive stage for this battle. Damn, that looks scary. There are six platforms in front of you. Both armies will send one piece at a time to solve one chess puzzle each. What happens if we give the wrong answer? You fall down into the zombie pit and become their dessert for the night. Oh my god. First piece from each army show up at the start 
Go Pong. Horsey, you can do this. You will have five seconds for each puzzle. The first puzzle for white is this. Queen takes G7 checkmate. Good boy. Move to platform one. Phew, that was easy. Puzzle for black. Oh, that's me. Horsey D3, checkmate. Move forward. Let's step up the difficulty. Crap. Puzzle for white. Queen takes F7. Wrong. Correct answer is Queen G4 checkmate. Feed him to the zombies. <laughs> Puzzle for black. A few moments later. We are down to our last three pieces and our last platform. White king and queen on one side. The black king on the other. My queen, we can do this. Just one more step and I win. The same puzzle will be shown to both sides at the same time. My queen, I love you. I'm not going to answer this puzzle. I want you to win. No, my king. You're our leader, our hero. If they both keep doing this, I'm going to win. White to play and win. You have 15 seconds. Oh my. This looks easy. It does, but damn, I can't find a clear answer. My answer is horsey takes f6. Wrong. No, my queen. It's all even now, isn't it white king? Five seconds. Wait, I see it. So do I. Queen, queen takes, takes h7. h7. That is correct. Bishop, Bishop takes, takes and the, the horsey forks. forks. I said it first. No, I did. Don't worry, kings. Both of you said it at the same time. I knew this would happen. You knew. That's impossible. Ha ha ha. Time for a little surprise. Viewers, it's your turn. There are two kings in front of me. But believe it or not, one of them is actually my partner. Ha ha ha. What? What? You can see my partner acting well. But from the start of the challenges, they were always supposed to reach the top two. But how? They always knew the answer to the puzzles, including the last one, where they spoke only when the other king spoke. That's unfair. Viewers, the winner of the $3.1 million murder games depends on you. The fate of the world depends on you. You have to take a guess on who the honest king is and eliminate my partner. I am the honest king. I worked really hard to get here. Please, please vote for me. He's lying. I lost my queen, my family. Please, vote for me. Viewers, you will see two screens crop up on the left and right of your screen. Click on the left if you think the black king is the real winner and white king is my partner. Click on the right screen if you think the white king is the real winner. Remember, the fate of the world is in your hands.